Hey everybody, yes, this is an unusually late early morning live stream vlog report because of this news. If you're a regular follower of Zenny62 YouTube and Oakland News now, now Oakland News now blog.com blog platforms as well as Oakland News now online, Oakland News now online blog, you'll know that on the 25th of November of 2021, last year, I reported pure and simple, and was the only one to really get out there and assert that this man right here, Phil Ruffin, noted billionaire owner of Treasure Island, was going to bring the Oakland Athletics to Las Vegas to play at a ballpark to be built at the Las Vegas Fairgrounds. And I laid this out extensively in this blog post and in this video as well on Zenny 62 based on an earlier blog post that was November 20th of 2021 stating Las Vegas festival grounds to be future ballpark home of Oakland athletics. And I stated here that the news that the Oakland Athletics placed an offer to purchase land in what Oakland A's president Dave Cabo called the Las Vegas Valley. Um, had speculation, because of that speculation, swirled. There were 20 different sites. And, but on the 23rd of July of last year, the Las Vegas Fairgrounds, owned by Mr. Ruffin, stood out, according to Brian Horwath of the Las Vegas Sun. And Dave Cobble was quoted as saying the North Strip at the festival grounds to have that view back down the entire strip that would be pretty iconic. That's what he said. And then he actually reiterated that to me in an interview last year. And then I reported that in addition to that comment, Mr. Ruffin himself was on a push to get his festival grounds considered as a future home for the athletics. On July 5th of 2021, it was reported that he told the Wichita Eagle that he was scheduled to meet with a group of investors leading the push to bring the A's to Las Vegas. It means more than one. And I vote that I think they want to talk to me. He, he said, I think they want to talk to me about my land. The good part of baseball is that they have 80 home games. So that'd be a very big deal. You wouldn't be able to find a room in Vegas if that goes through. There's Mr. Ruffin again. And then I went to discuss that uh, the athletics moving to Las Vegas to the festival grounds would be the missing piece in a combination of land uses that would redevelop the North Las Vegas, Vegas Strip. And Ruffin owns the Vegas Fairgrounds and the Circus Circus Hotel. And of course, the, there's the Fountain Blue next door that's to be completed. And so you put that together with the Las Vegas Convention Center just a walk away, and you've got a pretty powerful entertainment and convention subregion for the future, don't you? And so uh, and I, I wrote that these weren't the only reasons that I asserted that this is where the athletics were headed. I talked about the pairing of Phil Ruffin and John Fisher uh, and the possibility of building kind of an LA Live project and the fact that it's 32nd acres of clear land space uh, and that there was no major building need to be demolished or cleared, which is different from the situation presented at the Mirage Hotel. And um, and I went on to discuss why the athletics are not uh, are doing this, considering the work they're doing on Howard Terminal. And then I basically repeated what you now know is common gospel regarding how time has been wasted, um, both legislatively and organizationally, with the project. I don't want to waste your time here. That's how they say that that that's the road that has been paved again and again and again and again and again. And I also wrote that the game will be changed when the Las Vegas ballpark drawings hit the internet, and then everyone will know that for real, it's real, okay? But that happened. I reported that, and then I tried to follow up with Dave, and, you know, things went quiet for some time. Uh, as you know, there was a lot of focus post placed on the legislative complications in the Bay Area what with the BCDC vote, and everything else. And 
I was always, however, looking and wondering where was Phil Ruffin. I, I knew, and I was always searching, always asking um, and around uh, to my friends in Las Vegas what was going on, mum. And when my friends are mum, there's two reasons. A, they're mum because they're actually working on something with him, or B, they're mum because there really is nothing to tell. And generally with the people that I know, that's a 50-50 coin flip at this point, right? So I still kept an antenna out. And and in in so doing, uh, keeping that antenna out, I realized that it would be a good idea to basically go back and follow up on previous work I did, and that is how I found out about what I'm about to show you uh, with respect to the latest news regarding the athletics uh, and the project. And it looks, and that late, latest news looks just like, like this in our program, in our show uh, here is that latest news right there. Phil Ruffin reportedly to meet with Major League Baseball's Oakland Athletics for a potential Vegas ballpark sitting next to Circus Circus. Now, this is this was originally reported by, on the 1st of August, by Vital Vegas on his Twitter account. Uh, he's known for breaking news because he's got a lot of the right connections, but his tweet was very cryptic and all it said was simply that uh, Phil Ruffin was going to visit Oakland, all right, and meet with uh, the athletics. That's that's all it said. It said I'm going to specifically repeat what he, what he said on the 1st of August. Told what Scott Robeson, the blogger that owns Vital Vegas, wrote was told TI owner Phil Ruffin is flying to Oakland tomorrow to meet with the A's for what it's worth. Then Las Vegas Review Journal followed up and was and their source told um, informed them that it was going to be about the Las Vegas Fairgrounds. So there you go. Okay, and the project had never died. What I find interesting is that Ruffin is flying to Oakland. Okay. Now here is where I hold out the possibility that the Review Journal source might be wrong. And the reason I do is simply that Phil Ruffin is, hey, peanut butter, here you go, is that Phil Ruffin is flying to Oakland. Phil Ruffin is flying to Oakland. Why can't the A's people fly out there? And here is why I believe there is another twist to this. The athletics have long needed another developer. It doesn't matter if it's Howard Terminal or or Las Vegas. But in the case of Howard Terminal, as I've said to the mayor or anyone else, they need another developer. If you're going to build something of $12 billion build out, you're going to need a partner. And so what I believe is going on is more of a general lay of the land to make a decision. All right. In other words, which direction are we going to go? And I believe that Phil Ruffin is making a case for ditching Howard Terminal, but the athletics people are saying, why don't you come out here and look at what we're trying to do before we ditch it wholesale? Because we're talking about $12 billion to build out and prime land that we really don't want to give up just like that. Perhaps you want to help us keep both. Okay? My point is, it may very well be a dual project situation, one where Phil Ruffin builds at Howard Terminal in the new town concept that the mayor of Oakland Mayor Libby has talked about, but the ballpark, the ballpark is built in Las Vegas. Okay? That's my theory. And I repeat, I think there's another twist here. I think that a possible possible 
a very possible other alternative may include a, a dual project site. Um, hey, good morning, peanut butter. And peanut butter says, congrats on making 60. If you're a Christian, you must have been obedient as a child. <laughs> uh, yes, I was peanut butter hero. Yes, I was. And thank you. I am a Christian. Um, so anyway, I believe that's what's going on here, that they're talking about Phil Ruffin and John Fisher, and I would be surprised if Oakland Ridley Shaft were not in those meetings, okay? Because for, for, for any other reason for other than simply that they have great respect for living, as does the Commissioner of Major League Baseball, and they want to hear from the mayor firsthand what her thoughts are and her plans are for Howard Terminal and that area with or without a ballpark, okay, and what resources they have to bring to the table. So it may very well be a bigger meeting than just Mr. Ruffin where Mr. Ruffin comes away and says, okay, let's do a dual site. Let's do developing Howard Terminal here so that we can keep this valuable land, right? But then let's build this ballpark in Las Vegas. I would be surprised if that wasn't the case, but you know, my alternative is, is understandably complicated, but it takes advantage of two juicy situations. Howard Terminal property is purely valuable, all right? The only thing tying it up are these lawsuits. Libby, particularly if Libby hired me to do it, could have the whole lawsuit thing go away like that, okay? That's up to the mayor. Um, but, but, okay, that's up to the mayor, okay? Um, but it also may be that Phil Muffin may take a look at that situation with the time frame, with the cost, with the, legis the legal issues, with the lawsuits, and decide it's not worth messing around with and say, why are you messing around with this? With this, okay? That's a possibility. So I think Phil Ruffin would have to be convinced to put part of his money in this political quagmire that Howard Terminal has become because of these lawsuits that the Pacific Maritime uh, Shipping Association has filed uh, at this point, right? But again, the reason why the athletics are hanging around this long is because that is prime waterfront property and you just don't want to let it go because in a surmountable problem exists. And let's face it, this latest lawsuit is purely frivolous. I told Mike Jacob that um, via text, and I'm not going to share our private conversation, but I, I will just simply say that um, I feel pretty good about what I've stated publicly, okay? Uh, and that I should be in, I, I should go back and get my law degree. <laughs> but um, as John Russo kept saying to me in the late Roger Hughes decades ago, but that's another story. Uh, I think that the best, I'm just going to say this very coldly, the best opportunity does exist in Las Vegas because of the lower cost envelope, because of the growing population, and because in particular of the least cost political climate that exists. The mayor has fooled around and made the Howard Terminal situation not impossible to deal with, but just rather difficult at this time, okay? And the incorrect use and not clear use of tax increment financing and the fact that the mayor and her staff have fooled around to this point and not gotten the in enhanced infrastructure financing district legislation uh, buttoned up and done through city council uh, is more than concerning. And it's, you know, from an intellectual perspective, criminal. 
or my intellectual perspective, criminal. But I digress. You heard me crow about this before. So um, I just want to kind of tie this all up into one nice little bow and, and explain where we are with this um, and say that um, I told you first that, that the fairgrounds were going to be that site. Uh, I told you. And um, hey, welcome to Zenny62. Good morning, by the way. And what I'm talking about here is I'm basically saying that I'm the first person to report that the Las Vegas Fairgrounds would be the site of a ballpark for the Oakland Athletics. Fairgrounds are owned by billionaire owner of Treasure Island, Phil Ruffin. Now it's reported that Phil Ruffin is may, may still be in Oakland uh, at this time. And I can't believe he's in Oakland to discuss moving the organization to Las Vegas. I believe that he is in Oakland to take a look at Howard Terminal Land. It doesn't make sense that he would travel to the Bay Area and not look at it. It doesn't make sense that he would travel to the Bay Area and not be convinced or wooed by the athletics to be a development partner at Howard Terminal, okay, in some kind of way. And I believe they are thinking of a dual site strategy. Ballpark in Las Vegas, building power terminal right there, since they've got now clearance from BCDC, it would seem that lawsuit from Mike Jacob is not going to hold. Uh, sorry, Mike, you're my friend, but you know, you know, um, it's not going to hold. That was, that's a bit too like uh, Rice Krispies first, you know, there you go. All right. So I will say uh, thank you so much and uh, live long and prosper and keep on following the Zenny 62 YouTube. Please subscribe. I'm going to start a membership section soon and bookmark Oakland News Now blog.com and Oakland News Online.com. And that ends this broadcast. Thank you.